welcome to New Faith Bible Study Mythbusters during COVID-19 in 2021. When are we going to start counting? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. I'm Reverend Dr. Alexis Felder, uh, First Lady and Minister of Ministry Operations at New Faith. Reverend Greg Powell, Minister of Pastoral Care. Reverend Sellers Vines, Minister of Justice. Hallelujah. We are in Genesis. Oh, Reverend Powell's back. His son graduated. We got a scientist. A real one in the family now. Ah, I've done my part for, for right. Marcus Garvey. We need to raise a nation of scientists. So I did, but Deborah and I did our part. <laughs> That's <need> right. <laughs> That's right. So he is, um, so now I write all of my concoctions through him. <laughs> <laughs> now I have someone who understands me. Okay. We, there you go. Give us go a cook recap up for this you. chapter. What chapter really? are we on? 34. Genesis 34. Want to do a summary for us? And we stopped uh, yeah. at verse 13 last week. So we'll pick up on verse 13 this week. So okay. let's just get a recap. All right. Well, Jacob is, is, has um, had his encounter with, with God and then had his encounter in previous chapters, <laughs> in previous episodes, right. um, and uh, has had his encounter with, uh, with Esau. Um, has lived to tell about it. And uh, now they're um, on their way back to the promised land. And they uh, encounter, they, they settle. Um, in the land that will be the promised land. And uh, they, um, Dinah, who we only hear about her uh, um, in one line, basically that she was born to rate to Leah, excuse me. And, um, but now we get her story and this chapter is about her, uh, her tragic story, but, and also something about that, that plays itself out over and over again in the history of the people as they, you know, the conquest and all of that. Um, and so uh, Dinah, Leah's daughter, goes to visit, uh, the, the hang out, you know, visit, the, they've, they've, moved, they've moved in and she's going to meet the women of the land and basically do what you do when you move in. They lay, lay out the land, see what the people are like, whatever, doing that normal thing. Make friends. And such a, mm -hmm. huh? Make friends. Make friends, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that too, Make yeah. <laughs> right, with the neighbors, because they're not neighbors like next door like we are. Mm -hmm. You know, right. you had to walk to go get to the next person. And yeah. so unless you lived in a compound or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's making friends. She's make, getting to know her neighbors. Right. Yeah. And the networks of relationships are how people survive in, 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 in a land that's not theirs. And so, uh, so, so Shechem, uh, son of Hamar, the Hivite, ruler of the area, the son of the governor, son of the ruler, took her and uh, raped her. Um, and there are various uh, translations of that, but the most accurate one or the most uh, substantial one is rape. Um, and, uh, you know, here it says in, in chapter two, he violated her. But in that, uh, but uh, this was the culture of the time. It was a essentially a rape culture because rape, as we know, is not a, 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 an act of, of sexuality or uh, certainly not an act of love as it's uh, as Shechem wants to Shechem wants to portray it, but it's an act of power and an act of violence and, and an assertion of power. And of course, you in in this patriarchal particular patriarchal culture, uh, ancient patriarchal culture, women had no power um, that uh, you know had no rights they, that a man was bound to respect. To use um, the Dred Scott decision <laughs> language, um, mm -hmm. and so um, he he rapes her, and then he falls in love with her. Mm. It's a romance, you see, and um, and and he... always like um, <laughs> the president and his slave Sally. <laughs> there you go, uh, and and so he goes and wants to take her. Goes to his father and basically wants to take her as his wife. And Jacob hears about it. Um, says, well, you know, um, let's make the best of it. <laughs> you know, this but this is our opportunity. Uh, to uh, establish roots in the area, connect with the ruler. Um, you know, this could work. This could work, uh, Jacob says. The Jacob's sons, um, particularly uh, the uh, Dinah's older brothers, um, Simeon and Levi, the, the, the brother, the children, the, her older brothers who are also children of her mother, Leah, um, they're angry and filled with fury. Um, this is a very disrespectful thing. Not to her, they say, but to us, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and so they are offended, <laughs> mm -hmm. and so um, uh, then Hamar goes to them, the family, and says, and 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 begins to negotiate the marriage of the of Dinah to Shechem, and uh, you know it's it's a very um, the 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 way it's portrayed in verses eight and the eight through twelve, this love within the context of rape culture, 
this love from his perspective is genuine. And the description makes a point of all that, you know, that they, they, they make this generous offer, um, you know, uh, essentially uh, name your price as buy bride price. And of course, this was in line with the law um, in Deuteronomy uh, of the region of the culture and that, that's reflected later in Deuteronomy 22, uh, chapter 22, verses 28 and 29, where if a, if a virgin is seduced or in the, in the Exodus version or raped, um, then basically you uh, were obliged, the rap rapist was, was obliged to pay a bride, pie, a bride price and marry her and he was forbidden to ever divorce her. So basically his price was, the, the, the punishment was removing from him the option of divorce. Um, we we wow. don't want to go back to that. So that's nope. where we are um, and leading up to verse 13. So so you mean to tell me that, I'm, I'm confused right now. Okay, so you, you, you're telling me that she's gonna be stuck with him forever. <laughs> and that he could say rape was love, and we're gonna we're gonna keep that length, that narrative going. That's the inerrant word of God. I'll have you know. Yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> rape is not love. Look, nope. not at all. You want to know how I know it's not love? Because God didn't rape Mary. He overshadowed her, but he didn't rape her. Mm -hmm. That's right. So rape yeah. can't be love then. That's right. So I don't care whose inerrant word you're saying it is, it is in God's word because God doesn't do rape for love. Yeah, so he was in lust with her. Mm -hmm. What was the name of the song, I Fell in Lust With You? Remember that song in the 80s? Hmm. After Seven, <laughs> or one of those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one yeah. of them. Uh, baby Faye, yeah, remember I, yeah, mm -hmm. I fell in lust with you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. so he was he fell in lust with her. He raped her. That's what he is. I love the conversation with him and his dad when his dad's trying to present it the right mm -hmm. way. And he's like, move out the way, give me your sister. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I see him once again trying to cover up his 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 mishaps, his um his his bad behavior. Mm -hmm. huh? So let's go on to verse 13. Yeah. And, and oh just um and 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 yeah that's so I am sorry I was I was I was looking at the um at the text because because what you say is so important and that's why we have to be and of course I was joking about the inerrancy of the word of God with regard to uh rape as love and it's important for us to understand that we we can't read the Bible uncritically as if you know, every, everything that tells the story, every story that's told is God's design for how we're supposed to behave. So right. many, so much of the Bible is cautionary. You know, in fact, when you look at, 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 at um, tech, ancient texts, we miss the power of the Bible and why this, this of all the books of empire, of all the religions of the, 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 the Ugarith and the, and the, the uh, uh, Gilgamesh and, and all those things, the, the, the book of the, the Egyptian books of the dead, all of that, while they have survived, nobody cares about them other than scholars and literary. You know, they're more, they come to us as ancient literary works and not as inspired word for us that, that, that helps us to become better mm -hmm. human beings. Mm -hmm. And what the, and, and what, has made the Bible so enduring, also brought by conquerors, like all religions, but what's made the Bible in particular so enduring down to the individual level, down to where a person can look at this and, and in the midst of all this madness, find something that impacts their lives is the fact that unlike all those other texts, this, this text is about the people and it's about how God is working in the people. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the humanity in the Bible that, that we connect with. And we got it, we can't lose our humanity in the Bible by ascribing to an imperialist concept of God and a racist and a and a and a sexist uh, patriarchal rapist concept of God. Or racist endorsing week. concept yeah. of God. Yeah, that's what we said last week, Greg. I agree. <laughs> oh, exactly. you remember something we said last no, week? <laughs> week. <laughs> we said it just like that. I'm gonna give you a quiz, please. I'm gonna give you a quiz, please. <laughs> Okay, did we say that last week? Yeah, we did. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Right. That's right, though. Yep. It's absolutely yep. right. Yeah, yeah. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. So here we are in verse 13. Verse 13. <laughs> shut up, shut up. 
Uh, verse 13, because their sister Dinah had been defiled, Jacob's son replied deceitfully as they spoke to Shechem and his father Hamor. They said to them, we can't do such a thing. We can't give our sister to a man who is not circumcised. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Get up, wait for a second. <laughs> Can we put a pin right there? Can we laugh for a minute? <laughs> right. That was more, yeah, yeah the, the importance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's a, okay. Can we go back to this? <laughs> <laughs> right. Did he just say that? Yes, he did. Not a man who raped her. Yep. Not mm -hmm. a man who has no, re no respect for her, who doesn't mm -hmm. revere her. But once again, we're looking at the male organ. <laughs> everything revolves in this world around our organs isn't it amazing mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah and that is not as, as that's why i say i'm sorry go ahead go on oh no, go and, on. and not as vessels of of creativity or creation or vessels of love but as 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 instruments of power and control mm -hmm. that's right yeah. right right but whenever they tell us we're being attacked, they tell us to kick you where? <laughs> In your strength, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> no, 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 it's not my story I'm reading, okay? Right. So, all I know so, is... Okay, keep reading. So that, all they're only concerned the, about a circumcision. I all I know is in the Lakers game, because all of my references uh, from here until like June will be basketball. Uh, Anthony Davis... Um, inadvertently uh, kicked, I can't remember who it was, kicked one of the other players um, in the, in the, uh, in the Joneses. Uh, <laughs> and let me just say, I'm still feeling it. Uh, so anyway, I'm still limping. <laughs> exactly. exactly. No, yeah. that's real. Yeah. No, that's real. And so here we are. And the only thing they're concerned about is him not being circumcised. Now we understand. Yeah. Why circumcision, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, trying to make light of it. It's just that there's so many other issues going on here as well. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at circumcision, I think we put a period, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. And the next line cracks me up <laughs> and even more. So maybe that, it's not the circumcision. Maybe it's the period that's the problem. Oh, and then I'd be talking about myself then, right? <laughs> so here we are. It's just crazy. Then I thought, I'm here all week. I'll stop <laughs> <laughs> They say, the brothers say, that would be a disgrace to us. Yeah. <laughs> They're really connected to culture. Wow. <laughs> the only thing that matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We will give our consent. Oh, verse 15. We'll get, give our consent to you on one condition only, that you become like us by circumcising all your males. Then we will give you our daughters and take your daughters for ourselves. We'll settle among you and become one people with you. But if you will not agree to be circumcised, we'll take our sister and go. Mm. All right now. So how you feel about what is love? What is the price you're willing to pay for love? Huh? Mm. Hmm? Would it be a pound of flesh? Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can get that to get that out. Okay, you can take over from here. <laughs> <laughs> What was interesting about, and I didn't realize this until I looked at the text again, but what's interesting, uh, or when I looked at it a bunch of times, what was interesting is that the meaning of circumcision for, you know, circumcision was not just a, a, um, a, a ritual act. It was not just a rites of passage act, all of those things. It was an act of identity that by you, they were essentially, it, um, oh, I did put it in Genesis chapter 17, verse, we did, uh, verses nine to 14, when God, then God says to Abraham, as for you, you must keep my covenant, you and your decisions, descendants after you and generations to come. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you. Every male among you shall be circumcised. You're able to go uh, undergo circumcision, verse 14, and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and you uh, for generations to come. Every male among you, Who's eight, who is eight days old, must be circumcised, including those born in your household or bought with money from a foreigner, those who are, who are not your offspring, whether born in your household or brought with your money, they must be cir cir circumcised. My, circumci my covenant in your flesh is to be, let me slow down, is to be an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who has not been circumcised in the flesh will be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. So the point is that this is yeah. an identification. Yeah. This identifies them as a people. Mm -hmm. With their so, God. 
yeah. and they're, with their and God. The God. Mm-hmm. And so by consenting, by what they're essentially offering them is to be cons- a, a sachem and the, the people who are actually rulers of the land is the opportunity to be invited and consolidated into them. Right, to be ruled over <laughs> instead of by. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which means yeah. that they yeah. get the promised land access. now. Yeah. yeah, gain access to our promise. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But now, of course, they're thinking about on a different scale. They're thinking about, I remember when I got circumcised, I didn't feel too good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <back That's> <laughs> right, right. I, I see most men probably don't remember their circumcisions, right? And mamas oh, do. Thank God. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to stay silent on this one. I have a boy. In fact, had I been circumcised, grown, I would not remember it because I would have passed out and gone into a coma. Yeah. Uh, verse 18. No, no comment. <laughs> verse 18. Their Thanks. proposal seemed Thanks good. Thanks for to sharing, you. though. Right. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> I withhold nothing from the world. Their proposal seemed good to Hamer and his son, uh, Sechem. Se- Se- I call him Shechem, the young man who, is, who was the most honored of all his father's household, lost no time in doing what they said because he delighted with Jacob's daughter. So Hamer and his son Shechem went to the gate of their city to speak to their fellow townsmen. These men are friendly toward us, they said. Let them live in our land and trade in it. The land has plenty of room for them. We can marry their daughters and they can marry ours, but the men will consent to live with us as one people only on the condition that our males be circumcised as they themselves are. Won't their livestock, their property and all their other animals become ours? So let us give our consent to them and they will settle among us. Verse 24, all the men who went out of the city gate agreed with Hamar and his son Shechem and every male in the city was circumcised. Wow, sounds like the black community every male in the city in prison, but okay. Um, mm. I didn't mean to go there <laughs> because this is war, this is a war strategy. So he's got mm. one on them, they got one on him, and everybody's trying to get somebody's money. Right. So they're going to get them, they're planning to get them while they're recovering, and they plan on getting them once they've recovered. <laughs> right. Right? Mm-hmm. So it's the, uh, what is it the, in, in, in um, Hamilton, how they walk backwards with the gun? And they mm-hmm. take the, a number of steps, you turn around and you shoot. Right. But if you lost track of your numbers, or, or if you missed or your you shot. Turn around and read, huh? <laughs> <laughs> if you missed your time. <laughs> and that's not, oh. he's here all week, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like. So they're yeah. both planning to deceive each other. Isn't that a great way to walk into a family relationship? Wow. Wow. Moreover, isn't it kind of scary to give your daughters to a man? Who wants to deceive you? Because mm. what is it going to do to to the weaker vessel in his home, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Treated like a slave. Yeah. 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 The, the interesting okay. thing, though, is that Hamar and his son Sechem, in, in verses twenty one and then and, and through twenty three, in the latter part of that 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 passage, they actually they they agree to their terms and up the ante. <laughs> I mean, what they you know they go beyond their own law. And in terms of what, in the again, in cultural context, but they but they are expressing willingness to go along with it without, yeah. you know, um, that okay, this is if this means that our our boy gets her girl, gets his gets his girl, literally his girl, literally his girl, mm-hmm. um, then we'll we're willing to do all of these things, and you know, we're good. <laughs> I mean, that, that, <laughs> that that's extraordinary considering yeah. what it meant. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, well, because uh, that's why I say Shechem was the one with the money. Mm-hmm. Shechem is the one who learned how to multiply because mm-hmm. dad is just whatever. Dad does not give him good advice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're got another daddy. Okay. All I'm saying now, I think need to let the mamas talk a little bit more. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, heartbreaking, but true. Yeah, they thought they so were a position. <laughs> I'm now sorry. the whole township is about to be circumcised so that they can get with the women. Yeah. 
And I like the, uh, the, 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 you know, because just, okay, you can be circumcised. That was not going to sell to the, because the, the, when they're going to the city gate, that was like the city council, right? And so they're going to go there. So they're trying to sell this thing and just, hey, you know, everybody, we should be circumcised because uh, my son wants to, you know, get with, uh, have this girl. That's not going to do it. And so they, they add an economic incentive. Well, won't their livestock and their property and all their stuff they got? That would be money, ours. More money, more money. Right, right. They can get their women too. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> price tag. Everybody's got a price. Uh, yeah. Verse 25. Mm-hmm. Uh, three days later, while all of them were still in pain, two of Jacob's uh, sons, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brothers uh, with, uh, under, uh, with under uh, Leah, took their swords and attacked the unsuspecting city, killing every male. They put Hamar and his son Shechem to the sword and took Dinah from Shechem's house and left. The sons of Jacob came upon the dead bodies and looted the city where their sister had been defiled. They seized their flocks and herds and donkeys and everything else of theirs in the city and out in the fields. They carried off all their wealth and all their women and children, taking as plunder everything in the houses. Then Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, you have brought trouble on me by making me a stench to the Canaanites and Perizzites, the people living in this land. We are few in number, and if they join forces against me and attack me, I and my household will be destroyed. But they replied, should he have treated our sister like a prostitute? (laughs) All right. Well, we know that. I guess um, the older brother was a little uh, frustrated because now he's missed out on his opportunity also to to give his sister away and, you know, to play his role as the patriarch of the family. So, you know, Shechem comes in and just kind of turns his family upside down. And so the older brother's like, you know, dad doesn't make it. You just took the opportunity from me and and took my decision making power because they didn't have a lot to to govern, to make decisions, to feel an authority over. And so when you take that little piece, you've you've upset the apple cup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it meant something to his role. It meant something to his Mm -hmm. ego. Mm -hmm. It it meant something to his, to the community. And, and, And it's interesting because we, how do you say, people say it, my word is my bond. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know in our society today, that's not true. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. In fact, if, the, if words are coming out of a human being's mouth, most times they lie anyway. Right. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. Right. And so uh, what we see in this case, everybody's lying. Mm-hmm. Everybody's mm-hmm. lying. They're pretending that they care about Dinah, although I'm sure they do. But mm-hmm. that's not the main reason. Mm-hmm. It's their shame that's being brought on them. Mm-hmm. It's the shame being brought on them. It's mm-hmm. the shame being brought on them. Yeah. Not on her. Yeah. It's the roles that have, he's taken away and the prominence in my role in my community, my family, our compound being taken away. That's shame. Yeah. It, so he's, t- he's taken a lot of authority in this move. Yeah. And so, yeah, they had to play, make an authority, an authoritarian, an authoritarian type of move towards them. They had to let them know that, no, we were still running this. That's right. But now their father is saying, no. They know everybody in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So we ain't still running this. So now we're on this circle of what do we call it? Revenge. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Revenge. You give me a hat, fields, and McCoys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doc, you you ready to say something? Funny. Okay, Reed. No. mm -mm. Huh? Oh, okay. You know, that one line really struck me in verse 31 that the brothers replied, should he have treated our sister like a prostitute? And I just, you know, as a, I just, I can only imagine, I mean, I've, I've known my, my, um, I've, I've known so many women um, who have, huh? No. How the prostitutes feel? Huh? Oh, no. How the prostitutes feel? Well, that's a, how victims of rape must feel reading that, that mm. this victim of rape, her brothers are saying she was treated like a prostitute mm-hmm. and she wasn't she was raped <laughs> you know uh, that she's and 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 it's amazing how we conflate that by again blaming it on the woman that well she was you know what she was wearing uh where she was uh who she was with uh well you know she her sexual history uh, well, all that women victims well, of rape well, have that's to go why through. they're saying that that's mm-hmm. why they're saying that Reverend Powell because 
as soon as a man finds out a woman has been with one man, she's a whore. Mm -hmm. But you so your wild oats. See, I say this. I don't want to marry a male hoe just like the man don't want to marry a female hoe. How about that? <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Right. And so we got to fix that dynamic because that's what that's what produces that so mm -hmm. she has one sexual encounter and it wasn't even willingly and yeah. she's being she's a prostitute yeah. but again it's them it's how they feel they're being viewed in the community because she knows she's not being viewed like a prostitute she knows she's being viewed as rape mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now those they that's the prostitution perspective is the 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 subculture underneath it mm -hmm. right because now you're untouchable Mm -hmm. Untouchable because a strange man touched you. Untouchable because you've been touched mm -hmm. <laughs> by a man. Mm -hmm. And men only want, they don't, they want to touch it for the first time. Now, they don't want, they don't want us to have to touch it for the first time, but they only want us to have never been touched. It's so cute. It's so cute. That's why y'all like little girls. <laughs> you know, in Africa, they think if they have sex with a young baby, a young girl, that it'll take away the HIV. Mm -hmm. You got all these little girls, school aged, going to school, being kidnapped and raped by these mm -hmm. men who are HIV positive yeah. Yeah. and getting pregnant, right? Because oh. they're menstruating. That's right. And they don't know that the girl is ovulating. And now this little girl is pregnant and you still got HIV. Now she has it and her baby has right. it. We need for men to stop having sex with children. Mm -hmm. We need for men to stop having sex with children. We need for men to be with the, their own age group. Why y'all don't want to be with your own age group? What's wrong with you? You know, in some countries, they say American men are immature because they like girls instead of women. A mature man said, why would I want that? I don't want to have to teach again. <laughs> so help me understand what's going on. Is this the still concept here? Help me. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Well, I, I, I definitely wanted a younger woman. So I married one one year younger. <laughs> Um, not a child. And, uh, yeah, and, I, you know, I'm telling you, I thank <laughs> God that she, that she wasn't born in 61 instead of 62. Ooh, she's going to be mad at me for telling her. <laughs> Ooh, I just get for trying to be yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask my question. Let yeah, me yeah. answer my question. <laughs> get a yeah. number. Right. Like the Italian um, uh, doctor, this is another story for another day that that God sent uh, as I was waiting to for my uh, for to for uh, them to move for my son to come down with his stuff. And he just comes up to me and says, God sent him to me to bless me. And one of the things he said all over and over again was that don't be smart, be wise. And be so wise. there I was not being wise. So, <laughs> but, for, but, you know, to, to the women out there who are, because it's so many uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, who have been mm -hmm. victim of rape, um, of, and, 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 and prostitution yeah. and, and in prostitution yeah. because women who are some of the prostitutes are out there because they told their caregiver, that they needed help and their caregiver didn't help them. So they ran to the street. And mm -hmm. if you run to the street at eight, nine, 10, 12, 15, you probably still there. Yeah. Yeah. So talk to them as well, because mm -hmm. they're, you don't know the reason for the prostitution. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that is the rapist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, so to, but to, to, to victims of, of rape, um, that does not make you anything other than a victim of rape, That's which right. is not, which is not does not define your humanity, um, and does and certainly does not make you any less human, any less of a woman, any less of a any less of a child of God, and any less of the image of God. It means that the, that the judgment goes on the one who did it, not the one to whom the crime and the, against humanity was committed. And 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 and, and to, in terms of those, of, you know, prostitution and, and it, the ironic thing was that. In the society in the Bible, the prostitutes actually had more freedom than most women. Yeah, mm -hmm. Rahab yeah. being the example, you know, they were they actually actually owned yeah. theirs and were able yeah. to obtain agency and ownership over their sexuality, over their bodies to a degree, to a degree mm -hmm. uh, that that women that like Dinah <laughs> could never couldn't even have, say never, help. Never, Dinah never. couldn't say help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so there's Dinah a multiple couldn't say help. A prostitute could have screamed help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I just know this is yeah. a this is such a heartbreaking story, and I've always loved yes. the name Dinah. You remember Dinah Shore? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back Beautiful. back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful Dinah name. Washington. Yeah. And so when you see, 
What a difference yes. a day makes. Day makes 24 little hours. Sun and the flowers where they used to be right. Oh, right don't now. get me go. Oh, no, I like Randy Crawford's version All of right. it better. Yeah. I love it. It's a Randy Crawford. I was listening to Randy the other day. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> But somebody was going to say something before I started crooning. Um, and I think uh, they would have preferred you said what you said instead of hearing me croon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you got it. I enjoyed it. Go ahead. I'm listening. Read. Let's read. You're a very strange man, Dr. Sellers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Uh, oh, and that's. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm my. Is that it? Does that does that end the chapter, or are my notes confused? No, I think I think that's it. But it was some some topics, some points to. Okay, that's the end of, and that's the yeah. end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the chapter. I think after one of the points that was that was made was that um, I, God never said in the promise that the promise would have to be accomplished through the annihilation of cultures, through, through warfare and violence and the destruction of people. It's not in the promise. God just said he was going to do it. And by the actions, one of the things in terms of the themes, the themes of the Bible that runs from this, and, and we see that in the, in the, um, the blessings that uh, in, in Genesis 49 that um, Jacob issues upon his sons, uh, upon Jacob's death, um, and the dynamic, of course, that would play out between the sons and, you know, with, uh, with Joseph and all of that, that we'll, we'll get to. But the point is that this cycle, and you said it earlier, this cycle of violence and vengeance and revenge and whatnot that, that, that takes place all the way, that runs from here, from here, all the way through judges, the, you know, the, 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 this, this, the, it never leaves Israel from this point. It never leaves their story from this point. Yeah. Um, and and so you know we should we have to I think um, resist the notion because this is where um, the, the the conquerors these are the notions that the conquerors latch onto that mm -hmm. God is this God of violence no mm -hmm. the violence was initiated by the people That's and right. God That's so right. loves us that He tries to reach us and work with us and work and He'll work His promise through the violence that we unleash on ourselves yeah. and each other. I know that if anyone is a victim of rape or sexual assault or or you find yourself in a position where you're just uncomfortable, you you, you got to reach out for help. You, you need to let someone else yeah. know your situation um, in order to stop it, in order to make sure that it doesn't go beyond you to someone else um, and know that that your life can go on. And get your therapy, get the help you need and, you know, navigate your narrative from that point forward and and be careful of who you trust because when you share your story with people they will definitely use it against you mm -hmm. and so be wise with who you give it to but know this even if they use it against you god's got something for them too <laughs> know this because of your story god was always good to the prostitute he was always patient with her and mm -hmm. he always had a plan for her life and so if you find yourself in that situation today then know that it doesn't matter what the world says. God has a plan. His plan is greater. And it doesn't, where you, doesn't matter where you start in the journey. It's how you end. And you can start a different journey starting today if you just reach out for help. Amen. 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 Beautiful. What a profound story. I mean, yeah. Dinah, she can't even scream for help. Yeah. No woman, no man. Because, you know, we always say women, women, women. But there's some men who are abused in their relationships. Good. I remember seeing an ador divorce decree where the husband said she kept jumping on me. All right. And so there are some men who are abused as well. And if that's you today, I hope you can find some refuge in the word of God. Dinah's story doesn't end well. Dinah's story is complicated and there's nothing we can do to change it, but we can change yours. And you can change yours. If Dinah lived in a perfect world, she would have been able to stun gun them, spray them, <laughs> get justice to speak yeah. up and, and move on her behalf. Oh, right. Yeah. Bust a cap at them. Right, I wasn't right, gonna right. say it because that's my <laughs> kind of girl. <laughs> right. You know, and, but she's not. Yeah. 
Yeah. And often we find ourselves even in this world in a in situations that don't allow us to oh. to 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 get justice immediately. But you will get justice eventually. He's the author and the finisher. What I learned on this journey is he's Alpha Omega, not Alpha and Omega, because then that that says there's something in between. He's Alpha Omega. There is no and. So let's trust the process. Let's get on track with him. And let's see what the end brings. I know if you're willing to tell your story, you'll get a whole bunch of people delivered. You'll be a new Moses. You'll be a new Joshua. You'll be a Deborah. So yeah. please don't be ashamed to tell your story. Rape or make sure you speak up and liberate yourself and others. Amen. Amen. Um, yeah, you can't heal what you can't confess. Reveal. You can't heal what you can't reveal. So if you don't reveal it, you can't heal it. Yeah. And who cares what people think? It only it's only a reflection of who they are. It's not a reflection of who you are. They don't know you 24 seven. So it's all they're speaking is from their insecurities. They're through their ego. So keep it moving. And As the wise woman once said, whose crown do you want to wear? Is or theirs? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Theirs tarnish. Like these little cheap earrings I got. Right. <laughs> they tarnish. That's right. If you want to know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, and those who have committed the crime, know that there is help Ooh, for you too. Yeah, thank you wow. for saying that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. There's help for you too. We want everyone saved. We want everyone to receive forgiveness. We want everyone whole. We want everyone in their right position. Mm -hmm. And so if that's you, right. there's salvation for you as well. And you need to come clean. You need to come clean. Otherwise, the bottom line is at the end of the, when we all have that final appointment, you can't miss it. Yeah. Don't raise you from the dead. <laughs> oh, I wasn't supposed to laugh on that. <laughs> I'm funny sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, if we think yeah, he's real. God, it's you real. can't get away from him. Yeah. So confess it so that you can move on with your life. You'll feel so much freer. And I mean, I have working in prisons, I have heard men say, I feel more free in here than I ever felt out there living with mm -hmm. the pain that I've caused on others. So, you know, you pray, you see God's face, but there's liberation for everybody who wants it. And he's faithful. If you want to know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please join us in prayer. Please repeat this after me. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Dear Jesus, come live in my heart. Be Lord of my life. I believe right now. I am forgiven and I am saved. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for my new beginning. Amen. If you prayed this pray prayer today, you are saved today. The good news is God doesn't give salvation and take it away like people do. God is consistent and he doesn't say what he doesn't mean and he doesn't do what he doesn't mean. He gave his son. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And the whole revenge mission that Satan is on is because he's angry that God gave him one chance, but God keeps giving us multiple chances. Hallelujah. He wanted dominion and God gave it to me and you and us. And that's what he's angry about. So yes, he's going to be on your trail. And yes, he's going to continue to agitate you. And yes, he's going to try to make you live like you don't know Jesus because he's on a revenge mission. I screw up one time, but he also knows this. He's defeated. He took a third of angels from heaven. There's still two thirds, so he's already outnumbered. So <laughs> since he knows that he's gonna lose, right? Yeah, how he yeah, wins right. is he wears us down. Yeah. He makes us act like we're not created in his image and according to his likeness. He treats, he gets us to act like we're not co-creators with Abba, Father. So please walk in your kingship, walk in your queenship. You are an inheritance to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And don't let Satan convince you otherwise, because that's his mission. He is the father of lies and the accuser of those who believe. We love you. We'll see you next week. Bless you. He's defeated now. That's Bye -bye. Right. So you're trying to say that heaven's basketball team is the Nets and hell's basketball team is the Celtics. Well, I did warn you. He <laughs> did, did warn us. Did I was going to say, you know, because, you know, when it goes back to the Celtics, you know, Larry Bird. Larry Bird, yeah. Celtics, so yeah. it's a little crazy for me when you say Celtics. So I kind of like them, though, but okay. Anybody who saw the game last night, you know exactly what I'm saying. Is it horrible? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Modules, yeah, 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 yeah
<laughs> yeah, TV hasn't been on for at least two weeks now. I've not watched TV in two weeks, so I have no clue. I don't know nothing about what's going on with Queen of the South. I don't know anything about anything anymore, but I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> what you got? I'm working, I'm working. Okay. I gotta finish these modules, okay? Oh, that's right. Love you guys. Love you.